So my name is Kaz, I am 27, I support Bristol Rovers because I am North Bristol based. I'm oh, sorry, Nelly. You're gonna you're gonna have to not distract me. I'll start that one again. <laughs> So I was actually split in my family. So my dad supports Bristol City, my brother supports Bristol City, but my mum supports Bristol Rovers. So I had the choice growing up. My dad did take me to Bristol City, um, but I think he took me when I was a little too young. And I hated football for years and years. And then when I was 12 years old, my mum took me to the Bristol Rovers JPT final against Doncaster. And I loved every second of it. Getting off that train, walking into a sea of blue and white, just flags everywhere, everyone singing, the vibes are really positive. That, um, for me, I was hooked from that moment. Come on, Rovers! Come on, Rovers! My poor mum, like every game, I was just like persuading her to take me to, to a match and um, she was having to spend a lot of money taking me to away games and everything like that and then not long after that we got promoted um, in the playoff final so I got an epic 3-1 win over Shrewsbury in the playoff final. I'll never ever forget is Sammy Igo running the full length of Wembley in 2007 to score the winner to send us up to League One. The second we picked up that ball we were singing run Sammy run all the way down um, and then he, yeah, he scored that winner and it was just absolute pandemonium in that stadium, it was absolutely incredible. Um, I think anyone in that position as one of their first games would be hooked for life because, yeah, something I'll never ever forget, that moment, just craziness with my mum and, and everyone else out there, it was amazing. Rovers has shaped my life massively, being a gas said. That's going from my relationships to my friendships. Um, some of my best friends, uh, Lucy for example, I've met through Rovers, which has been incredible. Even my job working in television, I got that job because I would spend my time editing Bristol Rovers videos together on YouTube. Um, and my employers loved it and they gave me a job from that. So. You actually think, you know, people say it's just a game, it's not just a game, it's way more than that because it really can shape your life in all different ways. I really honestly um, wouldn't change it for the world. Um, some of the low points, obviously being a woman in football and experiencing sexist abuse. Um, unfortunately, it's happened to many women across the UK, but then that sparked me into starting Her Game 2, um, which is a campaign tackling sexist abuse in football. Um, and again, that wouldn't have started if I didn't fall in love with Rovers in Cardiff that one day in the JPT final. So yeah, it was incredible. So yeah, after my first game being at the massive Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, I then went to my first home game at the Mem. It was really quite emotional going through that rattly turn style. You knew that it wasn't going to be a shiny big stadium and it wasn't going to look fancy and modern, but it still felt right. It, it's, it's so family friendly there, the atmosphere is just incredible. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's been somewhere that I wouldn't change. I know everyone wants a shiny new stadium, but when we eventually get there, I think I'll be sad to leave the Mem and sad to leave, leave Gloucester Road because there's so many amazing memories there and um, it is what it is. It's not the best, but it's home, so I love it. The feeling on a match day, I think every football fan would agree, that little buzz you get when, when you know there's a game on. Um, even if you're not optimistic about your club, it's not just going to watch the game. It's going to see your friends. It's the whole social day out. It's the community vibe to it. So today, um, messaging Lucy this morning, we're going to go to the pub. Um, she's one of my best friends. She's someone I've known for years now. Hi! Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. She's also a fellow co-founder of Her Game 2, so we work together all the time, we're always talking to each other. Um, so she's going to come here and then we're going to walk to the pub. It'll be quite fancy going to the Royal Oak today. Um, it's a bit of a good omen pub for us because last time we went, um, we got promoted. Kind of didn't expect it actually because we had to win by a five, six goal margin. Um, ended up winning 7-0 in the end, um, but none of us expected it at the time. But that is one of the memories we have of the Royal Oak. Um, it's also a Her Game 2 pub, which is really lovely for us, so that's great. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to go there and hopefully it brings some, some good luck today. Um, we're going to try and catch some of the early kickoff, um, have a pint or two. 
do our fan hub lineup, try and guess the team. Um, probably talk a bit about the game, what we think might happen. Because um, to be honest, 90% of our conversations is about her getting to the football. And then we'll go on to the stadium and then we'll meet some more friends there. Marching in! Oh, when the gas go marching in! Shoot in front of the gas in the second half. We're golden. I hope. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we didn't lose the spell. We'll see. Up the gas. Prediction second half. 2 1 gas. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, 2 1 gas. just come back and we've missed the goal. That's what we get for socialising too much with people we see in the clubhouse. <laughs> Whip it in. That's it. Go on. Maybe we shouldn't have taken it to the corner when we had a chance to go on attack and we could have got a third. So we'll learn from it and fingers crossed, better result next week. On to Peterborough next week. Up the gas. Up the gas.